didn't feel nothing in my nipple. Titties were still numb. Hey, how you doing? Ooh, that was so extra. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. AKA Jackie O, I guess, depending on who you ask. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Can you not interrupt my damn song? Jagger, 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 jagger. Jagger, 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 jagger. So today I'm gonna be talking about some frequently asked questions from all of you guys. As you guys know, I was open and candid about getting breast augmentation surgery. It was a pretty big deal for obvious reasons. I chose to share that decision with you guys because I just did. I don't know. I mean, I, I figured like I wanted to give myself the right time and then when I felt ready, I did it and went on about my business. With that video came a lot of, I think, misconceptions, questions, both good and bad, and I figured I would just sit down and chat with you guys about what they were. I'm also, I guess, gonna do this like mukbang style because I have food with me. I don't know, like, am I supposed to sit on the floor and do this? Am I supposed to be doing this in my living room? Like, are you supposed to be able to actually see the food? Because if that's the case, I didn't plan all this properly. I just so happened to receive the Postmates delivery right when I sat down to film and I'm really too hungry to put off eating. So we're just gonna do it all at the same time. I just left comments available and open on Instagram. You know how you can like ask questions and that was the easiest. This is so much easier than like old school Snapchat Q and A's. And I'm gonna also try to go with the questions that got asked the most frequently in case you're wondering what I'm eating. It's penne arrabbiata pasta. So this is like the one pasta that I've gotten accustomed to eating because it's the only one that doesn't have dairy in it. One of the only ones that don't have dairy in it because I sure as hell cannot stand spaghetti. Truth be told. If you want a little bit more in depth about me getting my boobs done, I would suggest watching my plastic surgery video first and then coming here. Eleanor Rackley asks, how long was your recovery? So when you get a breast augmentation, they actually tell you the recovery can last up to a year. So technically I'm still within a year of, you know, recovering. If you mean like how long did it take me to be like up and about and, and um, not like be on bed rest basically, honestly, like three days, if that. That's really, that's being really generous too. The honey plug. <laughs> What does that mean? Wants to know, is the sensation gone? At one point it was, but now it is back to normal. For those that don't know, sometimes you can lose the sensation like in your nipples when you get a breast augmentation. Mine are now back to normal. Squish Bean asks, is there a way to keep your natural size, but just to get them more full instead of implants? I've heard you can get fillers for your boobs. That's a question that you would have to ask your doctor. I'm not sure. I, I feel like if that was an option, I would have loved to have opted for that because I wasn't really trying to get huge boobs, you know? I just basically wanted them to be more full. And um, this seemed to ultimately be the only decision for me. So funny story, my um, cousin actually told me that you could get fillers in your boobs. Like the same fillers that people get like in their chin and like under eye and in their, in their other parts of their face. She actually told me that you can do that, but for your boobs. And it's a little bit more temporary and it also fluctuates. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing because it sounds like it's not as permanent as like a full on boob job. I Googled it and then this one doctor came up in LA that says that it does it. But the gag is, I guess they were like, really? It wasn't filler, it was fat transfer. So I made the appointment, went to the consultation and I was low key shook. I've never been under the knife, y'all. I was low key shook, like, am I really about to do this? Like, I'm just here to ask questions, but this is a big deal. I can't believe I'm here, blah, blah, blah. And I go to the doctor. They bring me, oh, we're ready for you, Jackie Ida. I'm like, shh, don't say my name out loud. Shh, stop it, man, stop it. So they brought me back. I'm in the little room. It's cold. So you know, I'm trying to cover my shoulders and stuff. And then the nurse walked in and she was like, hi, so what are you here for? And I was like, yes. So I was inquiring about your fat transfer for boobs. And the lady was like, Where's the fat? I was like, I was like, what do you mean? She was like, where do you want me to pull fat from? I was like, I don't know, y'all the ones who do the procedure. Can't you take it from my thighs or something? I got enough to go around. And she was like, you would have to gain like 15, 20 pounds. I was like, alrighty, that's enough. Have a good evening. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with putting on 15, 20 pounds, but one, I honestly, honest to God, I wouldn't even know 
how to do that if I tried. Well, I probably could if I really, really tried, but I just feel like that's just a lot. That's just a lot to go through. I just was like, yo, this is just not, not the one for me. And it was the quickest consultation I've ever been in. Literally that conversation was three minutes and then she left and was like, bye sis. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> How long were you contemplating getting one? This is a hard, this is a hard one for me because I can't really say it was something that I was constantly contemplating or thinking about. It was more like one of those things where I was like, you know what, I have the money for it. I'm not gonna have kids for a while. So any other major change to my body it's probably not gonna take place anytime soon. So like, why not just do it? I mean, you're already thinking about doing it. You're already considering doing it. I got to like 25, 26, and I was like really, really cool with having small boobs. Like really, really actually happy. I didn't really start thinking about doing something about changing that until the past year. It was never something that I became like obsessed with or something that like kept me up at night thinking about, like I didn't look in the mirror and just see disappointment every time I saw myself with smaller boobs. I guess it was just something that was always in the back of my mind, but one day I decided to just do something about it because I was in a position to do so finally. But of course when I was younger, the idea of enhancing my boobs eventually in my adulthood was something that I thought about and considered, but girl, I don't have no money. <laughs> Gemma B. Jorensen wants to know, how was the recovery? Honestly, I knew that I would be a good candidate for breast augmentation. I grew up on Dr. Ray on each channel. If you remember Dr. Ray, then you know what I'm talking about. He was the original, the original Dr. Miami. Like he was like a freaking rock star. I watch a lot of shows like that. I looked at different people, different body types. I already knew based on what I was working with, I'll be a great candidate. Then literally when I went to the doctor, got a consultation, he said the same thing. He was like, you have the perfect amount of breast tissue already. He said, I have thick, my skin's thick. It's not really thin. And he also said, because I wasn't going very big, it would be an amazing recovery. He was like, you're probably gonna wanna go out to dinner the next day. I was like, girl, bye. What are you even talking about? But <laughs> he was low key, high key, right? I think it was the combination of the fact that I stayed so small and the fact that I already had booby to begin with. It wasn't like a huge, you know, like I wasn't stretching the hell out of my skin. He said that I was, equally as good of a candidate for underneath the breast or in the areola. He said I would probably heal either, just, just as successfully either or. So um, I decided to go nipple, free the nipple, literally. Katie Shivers wants to know, did it hurt? That's a hell of a question coming from somebody with the last name Shivers. I'm shivering just thinking about it too, Katie. If the idea of being under pain debilitates you when it comes to surgery, surgery's just not for you. Like, I'm just gonna keep it real. Like, you either just have to like, go through it and suck it up or just don't do it at all. Like that's the only way I know how to put it. I do feel like I have a pretty high threshold for pain. I hear this all the time. So was I in any pain after my recovery? I would honestly have to say no. I really wasn't in any pain at all. Discomfort, yes. And by discomfort, I mean like soreness, like the week following the surgery, you're not allowed to like lift too high or stretch out too high. Nothing higher than here is what I was told. No arm movements wider or higher than this section. So if I moved up too high, it'd be a little, it's almost like doing a bunch of push-ups. Like that's kind of what it felt like. It was like soreness here. I didn't feel nothing in my nipple. Titties was still numb, bro. Like I didn't feel nothing. The only thing that sucked, and then I was a little, just a little concerned about was that I was on my period for like, oof, like a good 10 days after. And that's long for me. So I was like concerned. I was Googling things, texting my doctor, texting my cousin who's a doctor, and she's also got her boobs done. I was texting everybody. Why am I still menstruating? What's good? What's what's happening? Everybody said it's literally normal. The next two periods after that, they were like either late or like really early or just really weird. But those are all things that are completely, completely, completely normal after not only getting a boob job, but like after going under a major surgery, I've never been put to sleep before. I've never had any surgery. So I think my body was just like, whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's time out, time out fam. And I feel like this is also a good follow up to Kayla Roberts asking how was the recovery process? The doctor told me that I was every plastic surgeon's dream client, which is, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If I wanted to, I could have, gone out to dinner the next day. Not the first day, the first day I was a little rough, girl. 
a little rough. I don't remember any part of me getting off the table, getting in a car to get to my, I don't remember none of that. I was knocked out. I was like, you better keep, keep putting in that stuff, man. You better make sure I'm fully asleep and unaware of what the hell's going on. All I remember was seeing bright white lights. It actually looked a lot like the lights that I filmed with. I just saw bright white lights. It was like a circular disc and then I closed my eyes. And then when I woke up, I had new titties and I was in my own bed. That's all. I don't remember nothing in between, nothing after that. And then the days to follow the surgery were me taking it very easy, me being very just careful with my movements. I was never in any pain, not physical pain at all. Like I said, just discomfort. So, you know, like, like, like you worked out. But even after an extensive workout, you're still like, you can still move. You can still like get things done. Carly Cat says, did you get the size of your nipples changed? I love Dr. Miami snap with the cookie cut. What the hell is the cookie cutter? Oh, wait, do you mean nip nipples or areolas? Cause I, I feel like a lot of people use that interchangeably. I don't think you can change the size of your nipple. I do know that people do like areola tattoos for like cancer patients and stuff. But no, I did not do that at all. How many surgeons did you research before you found the one who did your augmentation? I went off of referrals. I felt more comfortable that way. I would prefer to go to someone who's, you know, same same way you get your nails done, hairs done, everything did. You go off of what the homies tell you. I'm not gonna just randomly, blindly. Well, here's the thing though. I'm not gonna say a specific part of the body or face or anything, cause I don't want this to be deemed as messy. Some people go and get certain things done from one person and I don't like the way it looks at all. So in that instance, I wouldn't go off a referral because y'all are just showing me what not to do in that area. With boobs, I actually did get a trusted referral. And the reason why I chose this doctor is because they specialized in people who didn't want to go drastically bigger. Eunice asked, did you have to do, do go through surgery more than once? Nope, it was one stop shop and that was it. Did you wake up and go like, whoa, why hello, after you healed up? I definitely peaked. I wasn't supposed to, but I definitely peaked at like the third day. They was like in my collarbone, so it was just, you know, they hadn't, they hadn't dropped yet. Of course I'm gonna pee, why the hell not? I need to see what my investments look like. I need to make sure we all on the same accord. Would you have gotten it younger if you could? I feel like this is a good question and I don't mean to come off as demeaning. I don't I don't mean to offend anybody by answering this question in the, in the manner that I'm about to right now. I feel like it's super, super important, especially right now more than ever in the beauty industry. And I'm just gonna keep it 100% Auntie Jackie real. This is coming from a place of love. I do think when it comes to certain procedures, there is an appropriate age and like a time to wait it out. I just don't know if I would have been ready or in the right position to do something like this at like 18 or like 21. Right now more than ever, especially in this industry, there's just this rush to strive for perfection when your body's still developing. And that's a little scary because you don't know what you're gonna look like in four more years at 18, 19, 20. So I think it's important to really wait out just to see where your body's put to, like get to your your peak first, not, not your peak as in, this is the best I'm ever gonna look. Not like that at all. Mentally, emotionally, and even financially, be ready for what you're gonna take on. And, and there's really no rush. There is no rush. So yeah, I, I'm glad, wait, what's the question? <laughs> Would I have gotten it younger if I could? Honestly, no. I'm glad that I waited until now. 30, honey. How did you decide on the size slash how many CC to add? I wasn't worried about like, oh, I want exactly CCs because this is what so-and-so. I, I wouldn't worry about any of that. I just told the doctor what I wanted my boobs to look like because that was more important to me. My idea in my head was like, I just want like period boobs, slightly fuller than what they normally are. And I also told them I wanted under boob. I really wanted a little more under boob, it's a little more cup, you know, cupity cup, cup, cup. I never wanted big boobs. I never envisioned myself being heavy breasted. I just wanted slightly bigger boobs than what I had. You know what I mean? Enhance. Was there anything about the process that surprised you? Hell yeah, the recovery, man. I was really like, I still have this like old school impression of what it meant to get implants. You know, like back in the day when they used to bandage you all the way up from front to back, you would have a big old cord hanging out the bottom of your titty. I was expecting a neck brace. Like I was just 
preparing for everything. Do you find people look at them more now? No, I haven't really changed anything. I still dress the same. I still wear the same clothes. It's Daria wants to know, how does one best figure out the best shape and size to fit their body? My goal was to just be proportionate. So my boobs were slightly not as proportionate to the size of my bosom. So, and I didn't want to take the attention off my bosom. Did you went to Dr. Gavami? I don't know who that is, so no. Estimated cost, that's definitely gonna vary depending on where you live, I think. But I will say it was a lot less expensive than what I thought it was. And that ultimately is kind of what like sealed the deal for me because I was expecting a certain dollar amount that was like quadruple what I actually paid. So I was really happy about that. But I didn't go to no backwards doctor though before you get it twisted. Are the scars that are left behind apparent? They're actually not because they literally cut over the areola and the areola is darker than the skin. So typically when you get a scar, your skin's a little bit darker, right? Since it was on the areola, it just kind of blends in. What was your cup size before getting the breast augmentation? I was a 32 Bravo, 32B. Don't you think it goes against the idea that God made you perfect in his image? I feel like people aren't typically honest with the idea that not everybody wants to look the same all the time. There are many different varying levels to that. I don't see how something as simple and as minor as getting, you know, like one bigger cup size in your boobs is viewed as like losing yourself or uh, not being happy with who you are. Why can't women try love their bodies naturally instead of surgery? I love you, Jackie. I love you too. I did love my body for 30 years. I think that's a lot of love for a long time. A lot of people say big boobs cause back pain. Do you have any issues with that? No, because I didn't go big. I just went full. Like I got bigger boobs, but they're not big. I still have a pretty moderately sized chest. Did you think of going bigger? Your portion is wonderful to your body though. Thank you so much. No, there's actually times where I feel like I could have gone smaller. I don't think I can stress enough. I really did not want big boobs. I wanted fuller boobs and I wanted bigger boobs, but I didn't want them to just be like titties in your face. Pow, 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 pow. So uh, if anything, if they were a teensy bit smaller, I'd actually be happy. How do your parents feel? They don't feel anything. They don't pay for it. It's not their body. It's mine. I'm grown. There's that place closed. Next case. Are you sure you got them for yourself? Cause you said your natural ones didn't bother you. Yeah, I'm sure. Did you look for doctors that have worked with black women? Are there aspects specific to us? That's an interesting question. I've never heard of that as it pertains to breast augmentations. I think it's all kind of universally the same. Your breasts look natural. I didn't even know they were done. I know girl. That's what I paid for, honey. Under or over the muscle, do you plan to breastfeed? So whether you go under or over the breast, depends on person to person. And the doctor will usually recommend that to you for different circumstances. But I also was presented with this technique that isn't over the muscle, but it also isn't under the muscle. It's kind of, it's kind of like in between the muscle. It's both. He said that it was a more natural looking option. So I just went with that. How do you cope with other people's opinions about your augmentation? The same way I dealt with their opinions about my, my boobs before, I don't deal with them at all. They don't matter. They're irrelevant. Okay, y'all. Well, I think I answered a lengthy amount of questions. Thank you guys to everybody who submitted, who asked, who's been super supportive and positive throughout this whole process. I feel like so many of you guys just really, truly just don't judge, you know? And I, I like, I really appreciate that. It takes a real person to like, just be like, you know what? It may not be for me. I may not get it, but I'm not gonna judge. Thanks for hanging out on today's video. I hope to see you guys on the next one, which I'm gonna conveniently put. I'll just put it right here. All you gotta do is just click. All you gotta do is just click. Hey, all you gotta do is just click. 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 Hey, all you gotta do is just click. Hey.